Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is David Schlothauer here in the home weather office on May the 13th, 2023, with a very detailed weather forecast. Before I do get started, if you're new to the YouTube channel and you really like these detailed weather videos, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends on social media. And lastly, please leave a comment in the section below. Let me know on how you like this video. So to start off the video, we're actually going to be taking a look at your current weather conditions across the United States because there's quite a bit of activity going on depending on where you're at. So we're going to start looking at um, Illinois here where we do have a pretty intense linear MCS moving into Mount Vernon. If you're in Charleston, it's past St. Louis already where there's more storms to your south that are convecting. We also have a cutoff upper level low pressure system and disturbance over Texas. This is helping to bring in more showers, more thunderstorms over the region, including Amarillo, Lubbock, Texas. And then if we go across the basically the northern Rockies, the central Rockies, we are seeing more afternoon thunderstorm cloud buildups, part of that cutoff flow, as you can see there on the isobars or basically your height lines indicating the lower pressure. And then we have more shower activity going on across Baltimore, Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania on the I-99 corridor, I-75, I-95 there, not I-75, I-95, there we go. We got quite a bit of showers going on. But if we do a zoomed out view, we can see we have a really strong ridge of high pressure. And we'll be talking a lot about this in the um, uh, when we look at our weather models because there is some extreme weather conditions with this taking place. And we're going to also have some uh, interesting weather pattern changes coming across much of the Midwest, the Great Lakes, and of course for the eastern seaboard with much colder temperatures with extreme heat back west. Now taking a look at that seven day forecast on the European model for May the 13th, 2023, we can see where our showers and thunderstorms will be today. That's what we're looking at on the current weather map. Look at that, All the, a lot of showers going on across Oklahoma, Texas. We got more showers and thunderstorm activity going on across the Northern Plains, including for Iowa, more of those showers that we looked at on Doppler radar over Baltimore. And then of course, we got those showers and thunderstorms over the four corners. So now that we see our current weather conditions, let this, let's put this into motion for your Monday afternoon. And we can see kind of the same ordeal, showers, thunderstorms, maybe some severe weather, especially for portions of Illinois, maybe for Indiana, including for Texas here. We got more afternoon cloud buildups anticipated, more thunder activity over the four corners. And this continues all the way to Monday, where we'll get the repeat here of um, a couple of showers and thunderstorms over Texas, over the Midwest. And this goes all the way through Tuesday into Wednesday. We get a cutoff or kind of an upper level disturbance moving into the Northern Plains on Wednesday, May the 17th. This is gonna bring in some cooler weather, but no snow in sight on the system, including more showers over Montana, over portions of Wyoming, as well as portions there of the Northern High Plains. Going into Thursday, going into Friday, there is your upper level disturbance. They're going to possibly bring in some severe weather chances over the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes and the Northeast for uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, there is still some um, chances that doesn't occur since we're still really far out and the models don't handle far situations out really well. So therefore, we're going to lend this a chance of strong thunderstorms over the upper Midwest and the Northeast. But otherwise, once that goes through, the weather pattern does look a lot more quieter, at least for right now and that goes all the way through next weekend on saturday into sunday so now taking a look at those temperatures definitely going to be a warm one out there especially over the pacific northwest record breaking temperatures possibly some monthly record breaking temperatures for the month of may over western uh, portion there of 
say Canada over the Pacific Northwest up over here very hot temperatures this early in the season and you can see that um, overnight lows by the way in these areas in the 60s maybe even some low 70s I mean look at this low 60s up there in central Canada this is 60 degrees north in latitude I mean really unusual to see temperatures that warm in mid-May and it's going to warm up possibly into the low 90s in portions of central Canada there. You can see a lot of the red colors here indicating some very warm temperatures, including for Oregon, Washington, California, some 90s, maybe some 100s down there across Bakersfield, including for, say, Phoenix, Arizona. Really warm here, too, across the southeast, but not as warm as it is back across the northwest and California. And then temperatures do cool off a little bit more over Canada, but still really warm at night with temperatures in the 60s. And then same thing repeats, still very hot days through Monday through Tuesday here, really warm for Canada. Not as bad though for the southeast for much of the, mid, uh, the United States, except for California and say for Phoenix, Arizona, you're going to have some really warm temperatures and this continues all the way again until the end of this work week. Still kind of warm up there, but not quite as warm for Canada, but still well above average for this time of the year. So now taking a look at your departures from normal, you can see temperatures each and every day will be anywhere between 25 to 40 degrees above average over British Columbia, over Alberta, Canada, Saskatchewan, Manitoba. Very warm Canadian temperatures up there. Record-breaking daily records, possibly monthly records could be challenged in some of these areas for mid-May. While down here across Texas, you're going to have below average temperatures thanks to all the moisture, thanks to a lot of the rainfall that you've been getting. But look at this. My goodness, very warm across the Pacific Northwest. And that continues this extreme pattern, we call it. Very cool here in the Midwest, the upper Midwest, and very warm and hot across the Northwest and Canada. Yeah, it's just going to continue probably through the weekend of May the 19th, the 20th, and the 21st. So now, as far as your temperature anomalies go, or not your temperature anomalies, as far as your heights go here, above average heights here um, across much of the mid um, U.S. I mean, the ridge is pretty big. You got a ridge here. You got another ridge here. But this ridge up here in Canada is the one that's leading to um, daily records, possibly monthly record breaking temperatures. And that's going to continue through Sunday all the way through um, Tuesday um, as that large scale ridge pattern really just amplifies and stays in place across Canada, across the western U.S., with lots of these cooler air masses, troughs we call them, digging down across the eastern U.S. And that's going to keep temperatures under control at least. Not so much warm like you have been seen in April, but still on the warm side nevertheless, but cooler. And then that continues to go through all the way through even Tuesday with that large-scale ridge pattern in place. Anyways, before I do in the video... Here's a look at TrilogyMaps.com. I am incredibly excited to announce that I'm officially an affiliate with TrilogyMaps.com. The link will be in the description and the pinned comment below. Trilogy Maps has created the highest definition, the most customizable digital maps you can find anywhere online at a highly affordable price. These maps are so customizable due to a very unique layering system that makes it possible to create whatever map you like. Like. Making weather maps that look incredibly professional has never been this easy before. So if you want the highest definition, the most customizable, and the most professional looking weather maps that you can make up for a very affordable price, go ahead and check out TrilogyMaps.com. And again, be sure to use my 20% off discount code by going to TrilogyMaps.com and then entering the code DAVID before finalizing your purchase. Well, that's going to do with today's weather forecast and discussion for May the 13th. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll be back in the office again, keeping you all updated on the weather as always. But that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching.